Well, members of law enforcement as well as the general public gathered together at Delmarva Sporting Clays recently to remember one fallen officer who loved the sport. It's a picture perfect morning at Delmarva Sporting Clays in Wicomico County, Maryland. And folks are gathered together not only for a fun day of powdering clays, but also in remembrance of Michael S. Nickerson, a police officer and avid sportsman who was killed in the line of duty in Centerville, Maryland. Today is the eighth annual Delmarva Clay Classic. It's a fundraiser for Maryland cops, and the funds go to the families of law enforcement officers killed in the line of duty. It's just sad that we have to raise money for that, but it's a great day for the public, and we're having a great time out here. Nice, nice, nice. Michael's mother, Sue Nickerson, founded this fundraiser in his memory. This is a sport that Michael loved doing, and that was trap shooting and sporting clay shooting. Uh, as a youth and as a, a, an adult, he was a national shooting champion. So after becoming a part of the uh, Maryland Cops chapter, we wanted to do a benefit to financially support the uh, Maryland Cops chapter, which supports all fallen officers' families in the state of Maryland. So this is why we hold this in his name, uh, and everything goes to uh, Maryland chapter concerns of police survivors. These days, Sue is the executive director of the Maryland chapter of Concerns of Police Survivors, or COPS for short. COPS was founded in 1984 and today has 54,000 members. The nuts and bolts are, it's a, a hundred bird shoot and there's 14 stations. It's put on here at the Delmarva Sporting Clays. The uh, Richardson family that own it are uh, gracious enough to host it for the last eight years for us. They're good people here at Delmarva Sporting Clays and try to break as many as you can out of a hundred birds and get your high score. And in addition to the good folks at Delmarva Sporting Clays, other business leaders in the community have stepped forward to honor the legacy of over 300 Maryland police officers who have fallen in the line of duty. Just love to thank the sponsors. There's so many to to uh, to list, but some of the highlight ones that we like that, would, that have been with us for eight years straight: um, Jess Junior's Auto Body Shop in Cambridge, uh, Aqua Care Rehab in Salisbury. Uh, we have Linton Seafood behind me down in Crisfield. Those guys are great. Um, Simpsons Towing, they always hook us up, and uh, it's just, there's so many to list. Uh, Houston's Crane Service, and uh, if you couldn't tell already, I'm a good talker, so I like to talk people out of their money. <laughs> and the money raised here today goes directly to loved ones left behind. Immediately, if there's a line of duty death, uh, Miss Sue will show up with a check for uh, a predetermined amount of money to just give to the family right away for anything they might need, travel expenses for the families, uh, funeral costs if need be, and uh, just support them 110% with um, doctors, uh, therapy, and just treatment of the trauma of the incident. If they need professional uh, support, we can pay for that. We pay for them going to any of the national sponsored weekend retreats just for specific survivorships. We pay uh, for our first year survivors, all of our survivors, to go to National Police Week when their fallen officer's name is added to the uh, law enforcement memorial wall in, in Washington. Ultimately, it's police officers, you know, the ones that uh, unfortunately get killed in the line of duty. You know, the public needs to just you know, have an awareness of what goes on. You know, it's not just the police officer getting killed, it's the family that's still around and the partners and the brothers and sisters that they worked with over the years. And it's just, uh, and you gotta, you gotta have support in a time of loss like that. And this is what this event is made to raise money for. I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's come out to support us today. Um, it has been 20 years since we lost Michael. So this is, this means a lot. Um, just the whole community really just pulls together for this because it's such a great event. Great for the public to come out and get to, you know, interact with the police officer because there's retired people here like myself and there's active people here as well and just to interact with them and hang out with the cops and just, you know, we're all good people.